What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? We worked closely together. It was quite difficult, Master. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. Remember that. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulakord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. Come here, child. Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world? that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Ragate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Some elaboration is required. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the Rite of Blood and Bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. You have my attention. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. And once I reach the bones... You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death. To steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power. As are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you.
I heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the Red Stain Skull, and I must say, I am pleased. That place was awful, even for Korriban, even for the Academy. It is what it must be to test the hearts of Sith. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift, but more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Who am I to turn down free advice? Very well. Listen carefully. The key to your success is a small and sorry creature, but you can shape it in your image if you so desire. I am most thankful. That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself, and you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. Only if you believe red skin makes you pure. Red skin is only a mark. It is the strongest indicator of a mighty heritage, but not the only one. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. Allow the Holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. As you decree, my lord. I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. And once he's free, what will he tell the Jedi? What did you plant on him? Information that should encourage certain Outer Rim colonies to reduce their defenses. Once that happens, we can arrange the destruction of those colonies and their Jedi defenders. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. I will accomplish it. You will find the Jedi Quarian Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. 
Why do you care? Why are you here? No one deserves suffering so extreme. You mean that? A Sith with a conscience? You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. You did well executing the traitors. Your loyalty to our Emperor is without question. Come closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. Your name, now. I am Efren Zell. For generations, my family has studied the tombs of Korriban, traveling from one to the next to learn the history of the Sith. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Keep going. What Red Engine? The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. Then why not inform the scholars? They think that I, not a Sith, nor an educated man, couldn't discover the truth. They ignore my findings and are blinded by arrogance. Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you, bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. Those blasted mining droids were tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves, stole weapons from the Academy, fled into this tomb. They've reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. It didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith.